lazy character design. Oh, I don't know. I get the artistic choice. It's, it's a valid artistic choice. But what do you think when you have fantasy races where the dudes look like weird monsters and then the ladies look like human ladies but with like green horns? I think it. I think it should be. It'll either go. All of the races kind of look like humans, but with like different little features. Yeah, like elves. Yeah, or you make them all look different. Hmm. You don't think there's any validity to the idea of having like some members of the race look more human than others? Well. Maybe they could do it the opposite way. Where the dudes look like dudes and the ladies look like giant bugs and something. Giant buff ladies. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. I want to play as a giant buff lady. I'm trying to think if that's if anything has done that. Alien kind of does that because the regular aliens look like you know big scary dudes, but then the the alien queen is like this giant monster who looks more like a dinosaur. Looks like a dinosaur with a giant crown and no eyes. That's so cold. Uh, some coffee would warm you up. Why is the heat off again? Wait, what? Did the heater not turn on again? That's why we're freezing. Yeah, I think they they just haven't turned the heater on again. No, I know it should, but it, I don't know, the pipes keep freezing up or something, so it just never is that hot in this living room. <coughs> Chat, someone donate money so I can buy an external heater. At, some, at this point, we basically just need to get, like, a, a plug-in heater, because <coughs> the radiator just keeps turning itself off. Howdy, Rebel Sandpaper 98. How's it going, pal? Hey, look, Brit, you got your emote again. Someone did the Brit emote. And you can too, folks. If you subscribe to my stream at Lack Saints, you too get to enjoy the funny emotes. Like, the ones that are scrolling by... Not the ones that are currently being scrolled. But now, if my subscribers show the fun emotes... There we go. You can do that if you subscribe. Which you can do for free for Amazon Prime. So, what are we doing tactically, folks? I don't remember at all. I have no memory. The game seems a little bit quiet though, so I'm just going to do this, and then continue from there. Now, what are we on? So in the Proving Ground, nothing's currently being built. We could build a spark, but that would use quite a few supplies, and we only have two, right? Yeah, we have two. Earthman Dave and uh, Albus. Oh, wait, shit. What's going on? What the? Video game? Hang on, hang on, hang on. You guys seeing a blank space where the game's windows should be? Ah! Alright. I'm gonna do a fit to screen here, because it's just being weird. There you go. Might be a little bit stretch looking, but I don't know. Scilab? We We've got some op operative training going. That's fine. Uh, Guerrilla Tactics School, everyone's training. For those who don't know anything about uh, Breadcom, I guess a quick summary. It's essentially a... Sorry. Breadcom is essentially me... Uh, we have the soldiers who are like Antifa super soldiers because aliens have taken over an alien fascist empire has arisen and now we've got to take them down and most of my soldiers are named after viewers so if you stick around you could perhaps be a part of the campaign <laughs> yeah I'm like the only stream not currently playing Death Stranding I think I mean, it was funny because a few days ago it was The Outer Worlds, so I guess there's just a lot of cool video games right now. Uh, oh, we're just waiting for these missions to pop, I think. Is that right? Rescue resistance contacts. 
We've got a recover item. Don't need to do that. Alright, who will be rescuing from here? Extremely light. We get a bunch of resistance personnel. Do we get any rookies out of this? Resistance personnel. Resistance personnel. Rookie. And rookie. We've got two rookies if we do that. Alright, how many troops we got then? So currently, as far as available troops, we have quite a few. Quite a few. Yeah, we have at least a couple left to send out on a mission. Yeah, let's get some rookies. And then we'll wait for it, wait for the other things to just pop. <laughs> I need to play Stranding, but I've got no money for the game, let alone the machines to play on. I mean, pretty much as a rule, I don't really play... I don't really play games that uh, have just come out, because I just... The expense of... Is this Extract? No, Rescue. The expense is a bit much for me. Uh, we're going to bring out Jalo, you can come. We're going to bring out R. Enrico, you may come. And oh, Wait, hang on a second. Jalo, you can't come. Malachi, you can come. Uh, Bubble Boy, you can come. And we'll even things out by bringing along Rattler. Now the question is, do we have all of the equip- I didn't- What? Alright, the game thought that I just clicked out, so we have to do this again, but that's fine. David, you can come. Bubble Boy, you can come. Uh, we're gonna bring... You. And... A you. Now, make utility items available. Make armors available, weapons available, and this is gone. So what we got left? Got a laser lance, one laser rifle, and one scatter ray. That's going to be a yikes for me. Sage, you want to come instead? Sure. No, no, no. The scatter, eh? What armors we got? Oh, shit. Do we not have any armors left? Alright, change my mind. We're not doing this mission. No one has fucking armor, so no. Uh, Ratchetex, you can be in charge of that. Rat Anderson, you're in charge of that. And Nag and... Actually, Taj, you can be in charge of that. Alright, keep it going. Why is Bubble Boy not a bubble? I haven't unlocked that class yet. <laughs> Although I've just unlocked uh, Psy Troops, so we get to enjoy those pretty soon. Free days, free captured rebels. No thank you. <gasps> Folks. We found a scab. There has been a security breach. Also, I'm going to move this over here so that we can... Focus more on the gameplay. There you go. This is going to be a little uh, slower mission. Since we're just going to run in and kill a spy on behalf of the enemy. We have been infiltrated. But not for much longer. An alt-right infiltrator has come here to, to tell us the virtues of cancel culture. Wait, where'd the game go? Sack Jane? Oh, no. That was the funny funny thing. I'm not going to talk too much about, like, the EFAP crew, whatever. That shit is, like, so tired at this point. But I do love that the first insult name they came up for me was Sack Jane. That, that was really... They really got me there. It was Sack Jane... There was Saint Jack. 
They start calling me Saint Jack as if that was like a nasty mocking name to give me and not just like a title of respect. <laughs> it was like in an ironic, like, sarcastic way. Oh, Saint Jack. Okay. We have two purple hair people joining us today. An extra game with a Lovecraftian theme would be awesome. Isn't that, um, I think, well, Terror from the Deep was kind of playing on, like, Atlantean thing. I don't know. Something was going on. Um, all right, let's just start dashing. Can I have some shoes? Everyone... I must position myself well. I, I think I'm probably going to change that voice voiceover. It, it makes me uncomfortable. New spotting position. I don't know why it keeps giving that voice to people. They did the ultimate destruction. A fifth grade, a fifth grade insult. I don't even know if that would be the case. Like, fifth grade insult, I'm thinking, like... Okay. More like Jack Gay. Like, at least that... Like, at least I get what, what you're trying to insult me with there. But when it's just like... Who's the target? Listen, there's no such thing as an objectively bad insult, eh? Uh, for the record, that isn't um, Satan scraping my walls. It's just the pipes. Double time. Just the pipes. Alright, make our way over to this roof. And see where things go from there. Can you peek around the corner here? If that is what you want. He is. Donny, you can go here. I move to a sacred place. Victor, you can go there. And Rattler, Lining them up. why don't you get right up there? Sloppy Roger. Yeah, that would def devastate me if I heard that. What is with Tannis' Sack Jane? Why does why do I keep hearing this? Alright, we kinda need to transition to this rooftop now. So I guess keep it in mind. Are there any more dudes around here? Alright, Nagan, can you Don't be mean, okay? Let's go in through this door. Hmm. Okay, on my way. All right, loop around, folks. Roger, I've got my eyes on. I will obey. Don't need to. Don't need to put it like that, dude. There we go. Overwatch. Overwatch. Done. All right, good. They've moved away, which means that we can now take that rooftop. I like Jack Black. I've been thinking of doing a video about I must position myself well. the remake of Gulliver's Travels and... The extent to which it missed the point of the original novel. And just generally adaptations of Gulliver's Travels completely missing the point of the original works. Rattler, can you get over here? You can. I'm all over it. Can everyone get up here this turn? I will slip in. Yes. Mm. So now we wait for them to come back around and then we can take our shots. So now we've got a couple of boring turns as they patrol back into this area. So in the meantime, uh, come up with more funny, funny insults f to use against me. 
uh, you go here so that he can go here. Who has shotguns? You do. I will obey. So you can go a little bit closer. No, you... And quick end. For the cause! Retro Game Queen, please. I guess I should have They'll be back. Don't worry. They'll be back. Listen, it was it was harm it was painful enough to give up the uh So here's what you're gonna do. You do that. And everyone else is gonna go over here. Giving up headphones as part of my on-screen brand was a big thing for me. Got him. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Oh, you fuckers! It's always a trap. Hey, Bubble Boy. You saw how high integrity ranked on my personal values list. Uh, shit, you're one tile away from being able to hide behind this van. Dang. Well, that's the best you got. David, take him out. Does everyone just want to take some pot shots on that these guys now? Six percent, eleven percent. Uh, go for it, I guess. Even a graze would be better than nothing. This may be painful. It'd be good to suppress this guy, but I don't think that's going to happen. Right, is there anyone who can score a flashbang from here? Oh, yep, yeah, you can. And uh, there you go. No, 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 no. Wait, what? Alright, flashbang this guy. I saw it. No, 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 no. We all saw it. There you go. Preparing for deliverance. Okay, good. Preparing my tools. Again, it'd be really nice to get this stuff here. If we can. Whoa! Not bad at all. Now, as for you... How are we going to deal with you? I would like to just shoot that guy over there. What's your shot? 33%. Well, that is better than nothing. So why don't you take that shot? Okay. Am I going to need to just take the assault rifle shot? Or am I going to need to throw a grenade at this guy? Alright, last try. No. He's not looking too good, is he? No need to be like that. So if I grenade this guy from here, let's say. Can I grenade make it that far? Possibly. Hmm. 
Hmm. Right, SMG, I would like you to go here. They've spotted me. Thirty percent. Jeez. Jack Saint, more like buttack, buttack, ain't. Very cool. All right, well, I guess we don't get to take any bodies home, but whatever. Get right up close to that boy. Oh, wow. Okay. Supreme right. truth. Well, that was a quick one. Wait, what was the name of that mission? Steely Skies. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, those guys are basically made of yogurt, so they definitely explode a lot when you when you hurt them. Like, I'd say the main problem areas is my complexion's not great. Uh, definitely the forehead is a big problem area, and sadly not something I can do anything with unless I like add to my hairline, bring my hairline to like here. Imagine me, but with my hairline like here. That is that's Brad Pitt right there. But no, it just went up. It's even worse if you get look check over here. Look how far back that goes. <sighs> Aging's hard, folks. Aging's hard. The facial hair's not too great either, but at least it's something. Anyway. Is that skin? <laughs> Jack's hair is so color that you can see it when lights are on. You got me. Wait, how many kills does Rattler have? Twelve kills? Dude. Alright, Ratchetex has 32 kills, 12 missions, 32 kills, 10 missions, 12 kills, Battle Tank, 9 missions, 23 kills, Klaus, 11 missions, 19 kills, okay, so maybe it's just snipers get a lot of kills, I don't know, uh, anything over here, I don't think so, what's research on, Battle Armor? Alright. That, 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 that. Gotcha. Now we just wait for the network tower to, to reach its peak and then we're good. Dark event complete. Alien conditioning. Alien forces field tougher combat units with a bonus hit point. That sucks. Four days smash and grab. Don't need to do that. We're, we're pretty good on resources. Now we can contact another region, folks, which we're going to do as soon as we get this network tower taken. So once we have the network tower taken, that should reduce the amount of... Uh, I'll put you here. That should reduce the cost of setting up a new uh, resistance contact. Because I, I believe the next region we want to take is this one, New Australia. Hello there, mate! Hello there, mate. New Australia. Uh, right now you see it's 160. Because we don't have a radio relay near there. But if we take over the network tower here, we get uh, the radio relay there. So that's cool. 
Soul Fire. Alright, so we've got two side troops on the go now. Uh, should I get any more going? Who else is good for being a side troop? I need more health than that. Oh, Chris. You have terrible aim. Just abysmal. But pretty decent stuff. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <gasps> Must we work with the bourgeoisie? Folks, I'm afraid I'm going to need to recruit a bourgeoisie to help us. She, she might be... She might lack class consciousness, but she does have decent aim, good, good movement, good health, and good sigh. So, welcome. Uh, welcome to the resistance. And now we'll keep it moving. We'll have three side troops at the end of this, which is pretty hype. Supply raid. Eight days. That's plenty of time. Set me up. Eight days very light. Oh, wow, okay. So the problem is we don't really have the resources for this. But I could boost the infiltration on something, and then maybe that'll, that'll do the job. Like, maybe if I do the network tower and just boost that. Two days until 100%. A small price to pay. Or just this one. What if I boost this? Then we're at very light. So... We're going to get this to 125. What's this? Four days, find a lead, intel package. No thank you. Uh, Mickey, welcome back to the party. Will to survive. Cool. That's respectable. That's very respectable. Okay. Uh, center mass, sure. Do I have my pink, pink milkshake launcher yet? Yes, Nagand, I, I gave you the, the pink launcher. Alright, 125, extremely light, let's roll. So by my recollection, I think... Was it this mission that had some lower ranking troops on it? I don't know. Am I still alive and the best XCOM agent? Um, I'm going to say yes and I'm going to say no. And I want you to figure out... Which questions I'm answering. <sighs> you 95% missing dick. Was that a holographic prosthetic? Uh, yeah, I think some characters have, like, uh, cool sci-fi prosthetics. I, that's a mod that I added, I believe. Like, you can have robotic uh, legs. You can have, like, orange hologram legs. Or you can have blue hologram legs. Which is all very cool. If it were me, I'd probably have the orange glowing legs. Am I dead? No, Lucker. You're our best shinobi. You're one of our best troops. Unlike some. Well, at least there'll be more than one bourgeoisie to help to, like, join Picky Peeves now. Okay, Earthman Dave, I don't believe you're here right now, but welcome to your first mission. First mission of... well... There's the man himself. Wait, why do you not have... Were? Oh shit, I forgot to put extra armor on Barbaderp. Well, better hope Barbaderp doesn't die. <laughs> Because I forgot to put the extra armor on them. The ablative armor. Oh well. Oh well. It's not a big deal. Uh, I want to get up on this roof if possible. Heading there now. So what's up here? Actually yeah, both Laka and Barbaderp are on this mission. 
And now we can just get everyone else up. Okay. The best shinobi is Return of the Ninja Master. Sure. <laughs> now, robot, just stealthily. Oh, okay. Chekhov's Gnu, you're going to follow up. Uh, and then... Picky Thieves, you can also come along. All right, all right. And Faced, you're pretty slow, but you can come along too. Faced is actually a faceless... You know the little goo men, the, or the big goo men that I killed earlier? That's actually what Faced is. She just decided that she didn't want to be mean anymore. Heading to that location. No sign of enemies. Interesting. Okay, well, if there's no sign of anything, then Lucka, do your thing. Out. I've got enemy movement here. Okay. Keep that in mind. Okay. You're going to go here, and everyone else is going to go over here. Or just move as far as they can. That van is not very close. I definitely have to keep that in mind as we move a, move along here. Uh, go here. Check off Skanu, why don't you go uh, there. And Faced. You are really, really slow, but you do need to move up, so put you there. Thank you for the follow, DP Trainor. Replace Barb with me when they inevitably die. Will do, will do. <laughs> can't come soon enough, eh? <laughs> the day can't come soon enough. <sighs> hmm. Can we just keep moving along this rooftop here? Will I get to kill aliens over there? Yeah, I think so. On a move. Faced, you can also come along. And meanwhile, our frontliners are going to just keep it moving. Location confirmed. Barbaderp, you as well. Actually, Barbaderp, maybe you should move up a little bit. Oh, for some reason that tree isn't cover. Well, never mind. And Earthman Dave, you do need to back away a little bit, because I don't want you to get spotted by the enemy. Just stay nice and quiet. The question is, are they going to move towards us? Yes, they are, which probably means we're going to have to activate to get these guys taken care of. What's your take on check auto mod? What? I don't know what you're saying. Alright, we only have seven turns, so let's get it going. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Shit. Luck is about to get exposed. Damn, 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 damn. Is there any way we can move closer to the enemies without having to do this? We have six turns. That's enough time. If they keep moving up, then they keep moving up. If not... We can maybe prevent Laka from getting exposed this turn. There we go. Good lads. Good lads. Walk right. No, I would have got spotted. They would have seen me. I was already in vis vision range. You can't, you can't do that. It's not how the game works. I don't think. Uh, let's just move around this house, I guess. And you go here. And everyone else just catch up. Cover me. Faced, you can move too. Earthman Dave, you can move too. What's the mechs get really good when you can give them... There's an ability that's called... Shit. I forget what it's called, but basically it means that mechs provide heavy cut, like full cover wherever they are. 
So that basically makes them this permanent mobile cover that's just really, really useful to have in a, in a clutch situation. Alright, nearly there. So there's some boys. Hey, how's it going? It's going alright. We're about to ambush some boys. Okay, let me hand My hands are colder than yours, so... Moving to position. I'm sorry that it's chilly. Uh, you don't need to... I'm... I have Assault! Hands. Chat! Please report. <laughs> chat! <laughs> what? I just want you to feel my cold hands. DP Trainor, thank you for the subscription, pal. Thank you so much. There. Now my hands are warm. Okay. Thank you. Right now I'm paranoid about getting caught by a monster if I uh, go there, uh -huh. so. There we go. What do you see, friend? Oh, a nasty pod. Wait, what does Thought Round do? Oh, uh, mm. Mm. please no. Please no what? Nothing, sweetie. <laughs> I'm already on my way. Don't wor you worry your small bean head. My small bean what? Head. I guess it's small compared to you. This is spousal abuse. <laughs> Unironically. Gen four. Faced where you go in. God, you're slow. Going now. Uh, and like a... I guess you can just move along here. They say opposites attract. The thing is, is that me and my wife are like shockingly similar. We're physically very different, because she's like very small and I'm a big boy, but I don't know. We have like all the same interests and feelings. <laughs> it's unhealthy. Okay. Okay, I'll go. So Earthman Dave, I think now's a good time to start thinking about activating. So Chekhov's gonna. Why don't you steady your weapon, Barbaderp? I would like you to go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, who can see a snake? You can. Dang. Okay, okay, I'm going. Moving. Uh, Barbaderp, why don't you go there? And then we can just go from here. So ideally, the enemy will expose, will, will, will find us this turn, or not, or they could not do that. That's fine. They're at least now so ridiculously close that, like, we can kill them and there's, like, nowhere for them to hide. Yeah, 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 I gotcha. That's all good, it's all good. Barbaderp, can you get a shot from here? Hmm. Can't get a shot from anywhere, can you? Okay, fair enough. Alright, Chekhov's Ganu, I would like you to take out this advanced officer. Uh, meanwhile, I want maybe someone on Overwatch? Hmm. Nah, we're good. We'll just get some people to take him out when it comes to it. All right, here's what we're going to do. You're going to do a precision shot on this officer. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I actually got the kill there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that was like double damage. Okay. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Well, I didn't realize that... How is that double activation? Wait, who had sight? Did you have sight? I swear the only person that had sight there was... was Lucker. 
That's very odd. Hmm. All right. Well, we can take at least we take care of this all in one go then. Uh, you're gonna close that door. And can I just kill you? I can. Very cool. And can I just kill you? I can also do that. But that snake is the real problem. Hmm. What are we doing here? Laka, why don't you just expose yourself? Wait, what do you get from this? Four to six. Was that with a chance to crit? Let's find out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, everyone's hitting their shots today. Um, yeah, kill that sector, dude. Lucker, you monster. Just killed them. Brother and sister slaughtered as, as one. Now the question is, Barbaderp, can you get this snake from this distance? Hey, you free. Go for it. <sighs> Barbaderp. Oh, Bob, what's up? Uh, as for you, you're just going to get killed by this guy. Yes. Yeah, because then Picky Peeves. Wait, Picky Peeves, can you kill this trooper here? Yes. Why don't you go do that? Right, you're going to soul fire this snake. This is the power of Psy, folks. The evil door attacks. I mean, Overwatch is a well-designed game, but I have bad memories of it. Uh, now, Earthman Dave, what can you do for us here? Alright, now what's this guy going to do? I am made of metal. That was a decent hit they did on us. Alright, hacky time. Picky peeves, you're going to need to dash over so that you can hack the objective next turn. Uh, so I'm afraid that you can't be... Doing that. Lucky, you're going to open this. Oh, wait. Do I have the extraction point or do I need to make one? Okay, I need to make one. I should have done that sooner, but it doesn't matter. Uh, go here. Now, robot. Uh, you're just going to go here. The only thing you have to be careful of when it comes to getting that ability that makes it so um, all mechs count as full cover is if you then put yourself next to an enemy, you will count as full cover for the enemy. So you have to always be slightly off to the side. It's a really weird thing the game makes you do. Uh, grab some stuff. And I guess I don't really know what you're supposed to be doing here, Gnu. No problem, Why don't you hang out on this rooftop? Get ready for some fireworks. And Barbaderp. Next turn you can go and grab that. So I think then we'll be good. 
And Faced, you can just move in a bit. Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure that uh, our specialist will be able to hack. But just in case, I'll, I'll put Laka here. Alright, well, Laka's right next to the thing, so hopefully that doesn't happen. Night, night slot around. See you later, pal. <sighs> Yay, I did it. I did it. I unlocked. That was that was the one I clicked. Yep. So now you're going to go grab that. Okay. I kind of expected that to happen, so I'm not really too broken up about it. Insanity? Let's make this guy lose his mind. Nope. That's cool. That's cool. Uh, can I just make this problem go away? There we go. Now try this one again. Don't worry, Barbaderp. Unfortunately, your time's not up yet. Wow, you did it, Barbaderp. You hit 100% shot. Good stuff, pal. Not much of a hit. Hmm. Yeah. Can you even ha get a shot from here? Oh, hey, barbed up. Barbada, why don't you take two shots this turn? I think that's it then. Just waiting now. Alright, everyone get by the evac then. We did not fall for the first mission curse, folks. Uh, it became kind of a meme that the first mission of the day would always go poorly for us, but we haven't had that problem in a while. So, very cool. There you go. Can't I see anything? I see this is Firebrand. It's time to go. The thing is, is that Overwatch is unironically Team America. Like, if you watch that Overwatch 2 trailer, it's literally just that. It's, wow, there is bad people here. We need to... We need to send in this international task force to just, like, blow shit up everywhere and just... Take out the threat. It's just world. It is literally the world police, except not played for laughs. Hey. What? Sorry, Brit. Until a until a donated donates us the money for an external heater, I'm afraid we're just going to go cold. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, we can get here. We'll get here at some point some point soon. If it actually arrives this time. Yeah, that was the thing. Last winter we ordered a heater. I won't say where from because they gave us a nice refund and so I don't want to badmouth them. But they didn't deliver it, so we ended up just getting a refund on that. It's weird. Yeah. It was winter time, so I'm sure they're, they're shipping out tons of them and something's going to slip through the cracks. The thing was, was it said it got delivered. So, yeah, it's really weird. Well, I guess we can call ourselves Good Samaritans for whoever stole it. If you steal a heater, you probably need it, right? Yeah. Team America is literally a better take on politics than Overwatch and Harry Potter. 
I don't really want to positively compare Team America to anything, because it still kind of sucks. That's the whole thing. Oh no. Chat, please help. <laughs> Hang on. Okay. No more hiccups. I held my breath, which stops the hiccup. That's a pro tip for ya. Whoa! That's a little bit dark. Jesus. Oh, fair enough, Earthman Dave. And Barbaderp, you can get... Extra crit or formidable, meaning you have extra health. I think getting the extra health would probably be good for you. Because you are going to be in the line of fire a lot. So maybe I'm going to go with you. Extra crit is nice, but you're basically going to crit anyway. You're pro yeah, you're probably just going to crit. Uh, just by nature of how close you're going to be to enemies. Alright, there we go. Now we can send in the troops that we just pulled out back in for this troop transport mission. So this is like a raid mission. I believe the idea is that Advent's moving forces in, so what we're going to do is just um, fuck them up while they're trying to move in. Uh, we're going to pull out our current advisors so that we have the full spread of soldiers to choose from. Uh, gonna bring some pretty good troops for this one, although we're gonna have it go to... It's gonna be a very light, so it's not gonna be that big a deal, but in any case, uh, we want a shinobi. Uh, is it only Laka that's available? Wounded one day. I guess that means that you can be in charge of the next one. Uh, meanwhile, we are gonna want... Uh... Probably a spark. Definitely a, a sharpshooter. So Chekhov's going to your back. Uh, we're going to bring... A ranger, probably. Just to take them shots. What rangers we got? Just... just Old tendies. We're going to bring... Uh, damn it. You're going to make me bring Barber Derp, aren't you? Pangolin Lass. Sure. And Sage, sure. And why don't we bring... Um, why don't we bring Earthman Dave for this one? Yeah. Okay, good. Wait. There are armors available. Make everything available, please. I tuned out. What game is this now? We're playing uh, XCOM 2. Uh, Japper 3 to 1, an anti fascist soldier tactical game simulator where you could be one of the troops. Just nominate yourself with, uh, when I have an available blank slate troop, and it could be you. Alright, how many armors we got? Three. Sage, you're in. Uh, who else? Chekhov's GNU does not need the armor. Lucker probably does not need the armor. And they're already wearing it anyway. Oh, okay. Predator armor for everyone except Chekhov's Gnu. Wait. Chekhov's Gnu's already wearing armor. Okay, all good. Uh, laser cannon. Scatter ray. Laser rifle. Laser lance, SMG. Yeah, you can keep your SMG. doesn't really matter. Meanwhile, we want... Have you got some kind of laser sight? 
An advanced laser sight. Perfect. Uh, you're going to also want a laser sight, I think, for the extra crits. You're going to want an auto loader, I think. And why don't we give you a scope too? And how about a hair trigger for fun? And you can have an advanced hair trigger. And then I think that's everything we need. What you got? You've got an auto loader too, but that makes sense for a sniper. Yeah, I think that's pretty much good. Got health. Got two health kits. Got two smokes. Yeah, I think that's everything we need. Oh, AP rounds. Uh, do we not have any available AP rounds? Oh, we've got the shredder gun if we're against mechs. Other than that, we have grenades. We have ways of taking out mechs, I think. Yeah, we can shred them up somehow. Has anyone got shredder? No. How much is another AP round? Ten supplies and an alloy. I'll shell out for this one. Good. Does anyone have any pistol perks? Resilience, center mass. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we're ready. Let's go in. Uh, and now. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm running a ton of mods for this game. So I have uh, Long War 2 is the big one. Long War 2 completely converts this game. It, it radically changes the gameplay. Uh, too much to really explain. Like new classes, new map types, new uh, game modes, all sorts of stuff. And on top of that, I have just like a few cosmetic mods. Like things that allow me to see hit points and check enemy positions. Uh, quick end turn if I need it. Just like lots of little things. Okay. Another side troop. Oh, I thought that uh, our side troop was ready for a level up. Because we they got a bunch of kills last time. Shazad. Yeah, she's got two kills. Oh well. Alright, almost 100% uh, on the network tower mission. So that will be cool. And other than that, we're just going to keep... Oh, wait a sec. Need to put people on watch. Just in case. And... A there. Alright, so this is 100% infiltration. It's a light mission. So, let's get it to 125. Let's see what that's all about. Beastworktastic, if you're in chat, let us know. You're an officer now, bud. Congratulations. Completely undeserved. You're only like a sergeant. But, still. Beanman, if you're in the chat, you are also now an officer. All right, now let's get some more officer training going. We're going to put Picky Peeves. We've got a second thing you can do now. Do we have two available specialists? Wait. Oh, yeah, we do. We have Beast Wagtastic, but then... Yeah. Collector it is. And we're also going to put one of our assaults on. Bean Man, do you want to just go in again? Sure ain't giving Barbaderp that. He is never going to be an officer. <laughs> oh, Barbaderp. It's not really your kind of position. It's all, off, you know, paperwork and... It's not your kind of thing, buddy. It's not your kind of thing. Alright, vulnerable. Time to go. Seven days, find a lead. We're getting assault for this one. Oh, a new assault. Looks like someone's getting replaced. Mickey, well done. Now, you're a techie. So if I were to give you any of these, would these be any good? No, those all kind of suck. Sapper might be all right, but other than that. I've made a number of interesting discoveries, Commander. Okay. 
So now we have battle armor. Which is pretty cool. And we can get a better, uh, better armor for our mech too. So that's cool. Now what are we going to do next? I would like to go with Illyrium. With, uh, Illyrium. 42 days. Dang. Oh well. That will get us one step closer to our next uh, our next weapon upgrade, which will be mag weapons. I'm going to take you out of the Scilab. I think you're what's slowing down research. What is it now? Yeah, 21 days. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm also going to pull you out of here. 17 days. Yeah. Okay, let's launch this mission. Eight days, find a lead intel package. No, thank you. And four days, smash and grab. Woohoo, calm down. Okay, we need to do that one then. Okay, gotcha. All right, so we're going to launch this now. Uh, while this is launching, I'm going to go do a PP. And then we are going to do our second network tower. Folks, are you ready to take over the propaganda machine and get everyone to watch, like... Terminator, Dark Fate, some kind of SJW thing, indoctrinate them with feminism and whatnot. Are you ready? I'm gonna go pee. Commander, this will be a two-pronged assault. First, we hack the heart of the Advent Tower and disrupt their network, but we'll have to move fast. If we can seize control of that data, Shen's cooking up a little surprise for them that should more than get their attention. Lock it down, secure the surrounding area, and remove all enemy security forces guarding the target. All goes well, they won't even see us coming. Okay, let's go. What is this? Have I got a scab? Move to infiltrate the network tower. Locate the access point. What the hell? Don't know, chat. I'm falling apart. Look, here's a scab because I cut myself with a cheese grater. I'm a mess. I don't know how they let me out. Alright, now this is our elite squadron we have right here. Okay, this is the best of the best. With us today, we have Cali Girl, an expert shinobi. Not as good as Laka, but still very good. Uh, we have Klaus, our techie expert. Rockets, flamethrowers, anything you like. We have Tarja, aka Warlock. Our best ranger. They go... They go... Ranger! Elite speaker. You're here. And... Battle tank. You're also here. Battle tank. You're still in chat, right? Looks like your moustache hanging over your lip. Is it? Ah. Maybe I need to shave it. So. The plan for these kinds of missions is generally... Getting right up to here with the shinobi not being spotted and then that should stun all of the enemies 
which would be very good for us. Be on watch for the enemy. So the main thing here is that we 100% do not want to be spotted until we get near the end of the map, okay? So this is like a super stealth mission that then transforms into an all-out assault once we have... Uh, once we have gotten to the end and activated the network relay. We're gonna... So once again, we're gonna sneak up, we're gonna hack the, the, the relay, then we're going to take them all out while they're stunned. And that is how it's going to go. I want to clear out this part so that we don't accidentally get spotted through... Uh, through the walls. So if I can check whether there's anything in here. No, looks looks clear. So Cali girl, now you're going to come up. We will be safe in there. Right, nothing so far, but I am now very nervous. Because for all I know, there's something like here that I can't see. And I would like to not have to deal with that. Klaus, you can go there. And Warlock, you can go uh, there. And then Caligo will move up after we've established that the other side of the building is safe. There is no timer on this mission. The timer for reinforcements will only begin once we have been spotted. Until then, we're good. For the record chat, I haven't had the weird deep voice glitch so far, right? Like, this is mostly for regulars. Regulars know that I sometimes have a weird microphone bug that makes my voice really deep. That hasn't happened so far. Okay, good. Now check this door. No. Okay, that's good to hear. Because we had that happen like three times last stream. Alright, we are clear. Cali girl, continue to scout ahead. So maybe we're trying to get set up around here would be good. But in any case, we'll just move our way up. Stay close to safety. Ho ho, okay. Now that is a beefy boy who we do not want to mess with. Everyone get moving up. Warlock, even you. Shoot. Can you get around here? You can go here. Good. And Battle Tank, you are slow as fuck, my friend. Jesus Christ. How embarrassing. Welcome back, Elite Speaker. You're now our star troop. Or one of our star troops. For, for this second network tower, we had to bring our A-team and you're in it, friend. Alright, Cali girl, keep moving up. Little by little. Attack before they attack us! Okay, so in an incredible uh bit of luck it looks like we are uh, every enemy is on the other side of the map so that is like amazing for us so I guess now we can start getting set up for the in for the inevitable slaughter when that starts happening so we're gonna move everybody up in fact Tarja why don't you just go here uh, Klaus, you can join them. Uh, elite Speaker, you can, I think, also join them. Yeah, they're just all chilling in the command room, I guess. Ushi84, thank you so much for the subscription, pal. Totodile is my favorite Gen 2 starter. After Cyndaquil. Okay. Now, we just need to get up and down. So we should be very sneaky here. Safety. 
Yeah, they're just kind of hanging out. They, they really don't seem to care what's going on. Uh, and then go here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Uh-oh. Wait, you see two more things? Wait, 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 what are you seeing? Just the tower, okay. Okay. Uh, other than that... Just stay where you are, I think. <laughs> yeah. If I can get him to just run out, then that's all good. Clean these guys up. Ho ho ho! Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. I mean, the, I think the Gen 2 starters are just generally really good. Wait, how come you get activated when you do any of this? If you go here... You can just go here, right? Stay close to safety. Alright, so now we're ready for the hack. Okay, good. So I'll tell you what, actually, if I can... No, nah, I'll leave it, I'll leave it. Closing on target position now. I'm on it. Do that for now. Leak speaker, overwatch. And battle tank, you're... For some reason I didn't get you a, a stock, so you're just gonna do this. And now we'll see where things go from here. Is this gonna activate? Oh, yes! Okay, because now this turn we can... This turn we can uh, stun them, and then we can just slaughter them. Oh, mate, this was a bad decision on your part. A terrible decision. <laughs> a bad, bad call. Assuming these guys don't get to take shots. What the fuck did you just do? Right, battle tank can take them out. Alright, so time to do the hacky hack. Get them done. Uh, take what I can get. Hey! There we go. Got some intel. Audio loudness warning. Loudness warning. Okay. Sorry, folks. Audio balancing is a problem, I guess, for game developers. Advent Sergeant. Yes, I would like to take you out, please. Let's do that. One of the hack rewards should be a facility lead. Yeah. Getting a head start on the thing I'm going to need to do after this anyway. Uh, Tarja, you're not really going to be moving. So let's just have you take some shots. Good stuff. Uh, now Klaus. Or Lee Speaker. Okay. Perhaps being a little bit closer would help you out, class. How about from here? Oh, hello. <laughs> well, I guess that's next on the menu. Hmm. Nah, I'll go for this guy. Bye. Uh, and I guess you can now start to think about dicing some dudes up. Our land must be preserved. I really need to change that voice thing. It's making me very uncomfortable. Now the question is, can you get a shot on anyone from anywhere? 
from over here. Yes, you can get a guaranteed shot on somebody. Hello, Alright, Lee Speaker, go do that. I would like you to hail of bullets that officer. Maybe just the rocketeer? Hmm. Take out the rocketeer. Now, as for you, I think we could probably just rocket you guys. We would lose a, a sec, two sectoid corpses and a snake corpse, possibly. But that is a juicy, juicy rocket. Can I flame from here? No. Not quite. Alright, I'm not going to miss the chance of a juicy, juicy rocket. So, why don't you do that and then... Take out what remains. There we go. Whoa! Okay. Oh, there's that guy's left. Okay. Battle tank. I want you to take out this advanced officer. You can do a rapid target so you can get that extra aim on him. And then take that shot. I didn't know who was getting killed there. Uh, but this guy is dying. The power! The sheer power of Battle Tank's gun. Makes bad things happen to bad people. I find it very there's no, I know there's some more guys in there. But I can't see them. No one's perfect. Hmm. Now, can't you take out that other thing? Probably, but I could also just have you slice this. Get that Seki boy. 16 damage. Attack before they attack us! Okay. I know they're in here. There's a there's a mech and a and a couple advent, I think. Maybe a viper? No. There's that there's that turret over there. I know that much. Right. Now, what are we going to do from here? Charger, what you got? That turret. <laughs> no problem. Can you get a slice on that turret from here? Cali girl. Wait, you can't see the turret anymore? Uh, pretty clear. I'm pretty sure I could see that. From here, maybe? Yep, there we go. Alright, can you get the kill? Possibly. Possibly. I believe in you. Just open that door. Yep, and then just through here, and then up the ladder, and then get them. Perfect. Oh, I should also throw a Sky Ranger just in case somehow everything goes wrong. Battle tank, I want you to take this guy out. Good stuff. And Leet Speaker, I would like you to get behind some cover and prepare for war. There they are. Hiding in the corner. Playing checkers.
Wouldn't wish it on my worst enemy. Battle tank, what you got from that vantage point? A 69 on the gunner. Might as well be a hundred. Yeah, that's alright. Wait, Klaus, can you use that flamethrower on mechs? Yes! Okay. Klaus, I would like you to set that mech on fire. Did you just block Klaus's cover? No, not yet. Hmm. Oh, oh, it's tempting. Oh, it's tempting. You know what? It's so tempting. I'm going to do it. What's the worst that could happen? Uh, you okay? Are you, are you okay there? Okay. Anyway. I guess I'll just see how that one goes. You can't melee while on fire. Oh, Jesus. Okay. Alright, well I didn't double click. So... Okay. Oh wait, no. I can do it now. Oh, it would set me on fire if I did that. Okay. Now I understand. Wow, this really did fuck everything up. Where are you currently? You're here. Is that right? You're currently standing here? Yeah. Alright, well, this was just a bad, bad plan. This was just a bad, 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 bad plan. So... We're just gonna hide up here. Over there. Hopefully he gets taken out on the Overwatch. You're okay. You're okay. I grow weary of this task. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. You're okay. You're okay. Just calm down there. Uh, battle tank. Could you just take care of that, please? Wow, that that suddenly almost went really, really bad. But. For the most part, swimmingly, I think. Cali Girl's going to be in the infirmary for a good while, but the mission was a success. We should probably get more than three shinobis at this point. I think it's becoming more and more of a problem for us. Yeah. But, good stuff. Let us celebrate... My friends always used to say that I wasn't very really good at dancing above my hips. Or was it below my hips? One half of my body is very bad at dancing. But one half is very good. I didn't know that battle tank. 
You going to bed, leak speaker? I mean, I respect anyone who's like in a really bad time zone for these streams, but still stick tags along for them. I try to set a time that's like okay for both EU and uh, US viewers, but obviously when there's like six or seven hours between, it's always kind of tricky. And no glitch. Welcome to the fight. Yes! Yes! Very good. Very good. Why do I have so many German fans? Is my comedy really that bad? We're gonna go with... I think Cool Under Pressure is usually just the best choice. Yeah, just like bonuses to Overwatches, which also counts for uh, suppressions, I believe. Uh, Battle Tank, you are promoted and you get... I think vital point targeting is the one for you. Just doing extra damage to anyone that gets hollow targeted. And Warlock, you're going to get... So all of these are pretty good. They can all actually insanely powerful, actually. Bring them on is extra crit damage for every two enemies you can see. We're not going to pick that because when you think about it, up to a maximum of plus eight, that means that... If I see eight enemies, I can do four damage, four extra damage, which is like, yeah. If I'm seeing eight enemies, I'm already in a really bad situation, so doing like a few extra hits of damage isn't amazing. Implaceable is very good. That means that if I get a kill with the with uh, the ranger, they automatically the enemy misses. Oh no, no, a single bonus move. Ah, that's not really that good for rangers. The thing with rangers is that they don't. Um, if I got if I got a bonus move after shooting, I just would move slightly. Like rangers don't move around a lot, uh, whereas grazing fire is always cool because it just makes it so you're more likely to graze if you were gonna miss. All right, well, 31 days in the infirmary for Cali girl, so I guess we won't be seeing them for a little while. We're gonna put the scientist back in, and then is there any other missions we want to go on right now? I believe there might be. Okay. Okay. Let's imagine for a moment that we decided that it was time for the HQ for the head HQ raid. It was time for us to take back this region. What would that look like? Hey Jack, what fictional universe besides 1984 would be the worst to live in? Uh, Fallout seems like it would suck. Or like Stalker. Any any most post-apocalyptic worlds would probably suck. Uh, Dark Souls would be the number one. Dark Souls is like fucking horrific. Dark Souls is like inescapable torment that no one deserves. Uh, we're going to bring both of our key sharpshooters here. We're going to bring uh, uh, definitely our better spark, Albus. You're with us today. Uh, well, we can't have Albus without Nagand. Can't have that. We're going to probably bring uh, Klaus as our techie. Uh, do we want to bring a sire with us? Not really very experienced, but still a handy thing to have. I'll keep them with us for now. Uh, Shinobi is going to be... Wonderland. 
Not a very experienced Shinobi, but hopefully what they lack in experience they make up for in Pep. We're also going to bring uh, Warlock once again. We're going to bring uh, Barbadurp. And of course we need, is it a specialist we don't currently have picked out? Yeah, no specialist yet. So that's going to go to Bubble Boy. Bubble Boy! God, put on some armor, please. Thank you. Whoa, Bubble Boy, what? Uh, this is not the Bubble Boy that I know. Get this off of, get this away. Right, Bubble Boy. There we go, much better. Make armor available, strip all weapon upgrades. Good stuff. So it's 14 days right now. If I add another person, it becomes 20 days. So it's not really worth it. So we've got one of everything, except we have two sharpshooters and two sparks. That to me is ideal. Wait, 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 gunner? Wait a second. We need a gunner. We definitely need a gunner. So we're going to take, I think, one of the sharpshooters off for this. Techie, Shinobi, Ranger, Assault, Specialist. Unless we don't take a Specialist with us. And you're mostly good for Overwatches, to be honest. And Hacks. Hacks can be useful. But Gunners are, gunners are crowd control and we need to get... We need a good crowd control on us. Uh, maybe get rid of the Grenadier for this one and just have the Techie. Yeah, maybe. There's quite the divide now between our best troops and our worst troops. Uh, RM Rico, what abilities you got now? Center mass. That's, that's it. That's all you have. Well, we need to take our A-team on this mission, unfortunately. So it looks like that's going to be that. And then, in the interim, we're going to have... some other people to take care of other things. Yeah. It's going to be slim pickings. I'm not going to lie to you. It's not going to be good for the next few days. Unless I make the infiltration... Longer. Jala, what if I added you? Hates FNGs. Do you hear something? This soldier hates having to work with soldiers that are lower ranking than him, losing aim, crit, and will when in a squad with a majority of soldiers being lower rank. Uh, I don't think that's a problem for Jarlo. Okay, let's do that. And then we're gonna do, we're gonna do a uh, boost on the infiltration, I think. And then hopefully that'll be useful for us. Now, let's get everyone suited up. Uh, we want. Wait, one predator armor. Has everyone else got theirs equipped already? Mostly. We have a lot less armor than I thought we did. Alright, who's going to be in the thick of it? I think that will be Barbaderp. So you're going to get the exosuit. Techies get extra ammunition for their gauntlet. <sighs> Ooh, wait a second. So if I put this on Klaus, he gets double ammo on his thing. Hmm. Alright, let's do that then. Looking good, pal. Also, I'm going to need to strip everyone's weapons down here. No... Because I want to be able to re-equip all of the weapons mods and stuff. So you're going to go back to a sniper rifle. Strip all weapon upgrades. 
Okay, now. We're also going to build a reinforced frame for our mech. Looking good, Albus. You probably want four laser rifles, definitely. Definitely. That's not even a question. Flamethrower gains plus two charges. Yeah, that's that's amazing for us. Do I need all these people? Yeah. Yeah, I think I do. Uh, Predator armor, yeah. Let's get full armor going then. I'm really surprised we didn't have this much, that much going. Uh, leak speaker, grab some armor. Barber derp, you're definitely going to need armor. And Ratchetex, I guess you're last on the list. Laser Lance. Laser Lance. Uh, we have got... We'll see what you get, Jarlo, later on. Uh, Ranger, definitely getting the laser rifle. Barbaderp, definitely getting that scatter ray. Bubble Boy, definitely getting a laser rifle. Uh, where's our gunner at? Leak Speaker, getting a laser cannon. Jarlo, your aim's pretty good now, right? 67, no, it's really not. Um, but we can probably spare it. So let's go ahead and give you that. Uh, meanwhile, you're going to get... The Arc Blade. So you don't really need anything other than that SMG. And now everyone's just going to get kitted out, I guess. Yep. So now we have med kits on Ratchetex. That's fine. Ratchetex is also going to claim one of those AP rounds. Wait, where's the AP rounds at? Warlock and Battle Tank. Yeah, I could probably go for go for one more AP rounds, really. Maybe tracer rounds. Plus five to the shooter's aim when equipped. I'll just give you some AP rounds. AP rounds. Uh, does anyone have uh, pistol perks? I don't think anyone here has pistol perks. Oh, hey! My, my elite speaker! Likes women and likes men. Wow. The things people believe in nowadays. Gremlin Mark II is going on you. Oh, what PCSs do we have? Uh, better dodge, better HP, better hack. Oh, better hack. That'll be for you. And Barbara, do you have a PCS yet? Yeah, you got agility. What about you? You don't really need that. Melee damage is reduced by two. Unfortunately, you already have a, a thing to counteract that, so it isn't really a big deal. Anyone who desperately needs more HP? I don't think so. Okay. Now, Scatter Ray needs the uh, uh, laser sight for that extra crit. You're going to need that hair trigger for those extra reaction shots. You're going to want a expanded magazine. Well, I'll tell you what, let's just go with a auto loader for you. Plus a scope. You are also going to want a scope. And you can have an expanded magazine. Oh, and a stock. Because no one else is going to get any use out of a stock. Good, good, good. 
Meanwhile, you are going to get an auto loader plus the advanced expanded magazine and a hair trigger. Uh, you are going to get an expanded magazine, a laser sight, and a hair trigger. Now, what do we have left? Expanded magazine for you, sure. Jarlo, what you got? Laser sight, I guess. And let's give you a suppressor. Other than that, I think we're good. We have one smoke, two smokes. Is that two smokes? One for leak speaker, one for warlock? Yes. We have an, a med kit on Barbaderp and a med kit on Ratitex. I'm also going to go ahead and put a med kit on Wonderland. And... I think that'll do it. Oh, there you go. Barbadep, I'll fix your thing. Um, alloy plating. That's what you need. And then, Bubble Boy, you're going to claim the... Uh, just a grenade, I guess. So that now leaves us with three medkits, two smokes, and then a bunch of just regular old grenades and things like that. Yeah. Alright, well this is as good as we're going to get, folks, so I guess it's time to jump in. We're going to be pretty fucked uh, in the, on the strategic end because we're giving everything to these guys, but we need our A-team for this one. We really need that A-team. So, uh, let's roll. No nagging, unfortunately. But the thing is, is that we need, we need nagging to lead the, the rookies that are going to be mucking about during the- Wait, shit, I have this mission. Uh-oh. 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 So... We're gonna get our supply drop in a couple days. That'll be good. So then... Get the money we need. To get some new supplies. And then we'll be good for that mission, I think. No, I, I, w I just forgot that I had this one. I, I have to counter an Advent Dark event, but uh, we'll worry about that after we get our supply drop, giving us our resources. Don't need to do that one. For you, Money, please! Thank you. you Give me that money. Oh, incidentally, I'm going to boost the HQ raid, because otherwise it's going to take forever. Alright, there we go. Nope, we're good. We're going to start this... Oh, fuck. Alright, folks, so we have to do this one now. So we're going to do it. What we're going to do, we're going to do this mission. Then we're going to immediately do the other mission, okay? Chat. Please, please don't let me forget. Please don't let me forget that this is a thing. <laughs> Everything's fucked if that happens. Uh, anyway, let's go. Somebody link me to the Concrete Milkshake mod and I'll download it. <laughs> I need, uh, I need some food. After this mission, I'll reward myself. I think next mission, what we'll do is, we'll get that set up. One of our resistance contacts sent word of an advent Bradford, I'm thinking. To in this area. It takes a lot of energy for me to think, Bradford, so please. This is our chance to strike. 
Anything we can recover from that transport will be a boost to our efforts. Move in and secure the surrounding area. Eliminate all hostile contacts with extreme prejudice. Okay. I forgot what I was going to say. <sighs> Night, late speaker. Okay, now B team can take out this enemy pod. What we're going to do is get set up on this roof here. Take out some dudes from, from that vantage point. But they can't even come from that direction, so that's nice. Very comforting to always have a, a hard wall that enemies can't come from. Oh, looks like they're raiding the fridges. Well, we have to be very, very careful then. Wait, are you concealed? Yeah, you are concealed. You're all good. I'm all over it. Tendies, you're gonna run up there. Pangolin Lass. Jesus Christ, you're slow. If I move other people, does that give you space? Uh, Earthman Dave, go right in the corner there. No. That's cool. You can just go there. So this is a light mission, so like I think like ten to fifteen enemies. Nothing too spooky. Might even be ten to twelve, so certainly nothing bad could happen on this mission. Okay. Uh Earthman Dave, go here. Because I think we're about to activate. Uh and there's nothing to be done about that. Hello there. Now these should be easy pickings. Hope so. Earthman Dave, why do you sound suspiciously like the evil alien that we killed earlier? Uh, Chekhov's Gnu, you got a shot, pal? Go for it. There we go. Body shield. I can sell it. It's all good. Ho oh ho! Oof. That was brutal. Jesus. Wait, is there no roof? Is there no way to conceal? Oh, no. I thought there was, like, uh, panels here for us to hide behind. Well, this is not good cover, then. I'll have to look around and see if there's any better higher position. High position. Okay, keep that in mind. Uh, Pangolin Lass, I guess we can just keep it moving. We can at least take control of this part of the building. Uh, thank you for the follow. Ren Marvel win. Jack, you should play Fire Emblem Free Houses. Yeah. I might... Um, You can stream from the Switch, right? They integrated streaming stuff at this point. Okay. So Chekhov's canoe already has a good shot here. The thing is, I would like to get other people into also good positions. But whether we can do that will remain uh, in dispute. So what we're going to do is, we're going to get everyone in position to where they can take action next turn. There. Chekhov's Gnu, you're going to go 
Guess you can just stay here. Maybe. Maybe go here? Sure. Uh oh! That wasn't what we wanted to activate. That wasn't what we wanted to activate at all. Now we're all in flank. And no one went on Overwatch. No, 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 no. Oh, no. So remember when I said nothing could go wrong here? So this is called being caught in the L. Which is when the enemy is at two different angles on you. So we definitely need to clear at least one of these L's. Or we're going to be taking the L pretty soon. So here's what we're going to do. Okay. You're going to throw this axe, and you're going to crit, and you're going to kill that snake. Thank you. Thank you, Laka. Uh, you're not going to try and melee that muton. <laughs> no, 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 you're not. Um, but this muton does need to die. So... Is it going to be Earthman Dave? Oh, whoa, whoa, wait. You have lightning reflexes. Yes, good. So what you're going to do then is run and gun this nasty, nasty boy. Zero percent chance of hitting because it's lightning reflexes. And kill that evil, evil child. Okay, good, good, good. And then now, uh, Laka, you're going to go ahead and I think snipe that snake. Or just slice it regularly. So there you go. We are out of the L, folks. We have killed half of the that pod. So now, the question is how do we deal with those that remain? That is still an overwatch there. Chekhov's canoe, can you do anything about that? No, you cannot. Uh, I think Earthman Dave's going to have to take one for the team here. Yep. That's alright. That didn't even go through the armor. Now, would you like to shred that viper? That is definitely a thing you could do. I think you might as well. Blow up its cover. Get it dealt with. Taja. Can you see anything? Just that snake. Okay. So Earthman Dave, I want you to shred this snake. Making sure not to hit our good friend... Uh, Pango the Lass. Good stuff. And we're going to go on Overwatch. And you're just going to back up. And check off Skanu. You're going to go here. And steady your weapon. Oh, that went pretty well, actually. I'm feeling pretty good. Overwatch isn't as good later in the game. It's fine. It's alright. It's fine. It's fine. He also just brought back a zombie, so, like, not too spooked, to be totally honest. Don't mind control, please. Well, if it was a mind control, it was a very stealthy one. But I don't think anything happened there. Okay. Uh, just take some pot shots, I guess, buddy. Okay. 
Now, you get the kill. Earthman Dave, I guess you can just keep moving. Oh wait, Chekhov's canoe, what you got? No, you got nothing. You do have snapshot, so would you have sight if I moved you? What can you see from here? Chekhov's canoe. Can you see those evil bo bad boys? Can you see them from anywhere? From here. Probably not the best shot because of the distance, but let's take a look. 23%. That is definitely not good. Yeah. I kind of figured. Howdy, June Flower. How's it going, pal? Now, you two are still spooking me out because I feel like you're going to try and mind control somebody and I won't like that. It won't make me happy. But I don't know what my alternatives are right now. Are you sure it's safe? So I'm just going to have to keep overwatching. Sage, you can start moving up so you can get that hot, hot flank. And Lucka, you may also just back up. So that'll be most of the things on the map, I think, if we can just get these boys taken care of. These filthy, filthy swamp children. This would be a really good time to have Shredder Gun. Quit shooting my robot! They got out of Chekhov's canoe's sight, right? Sight lines. That was smart on their part, I guess. Can you see from here? No. No. I can handle that. 67, go for it. You couldn't escape hard enough. Uh, and a flank. Missed the Little Nightmares DLC, girl. Um, no, actually, I haven't finished it yet. Uh, we're going to finish that. There is a VOD currently available of all the Little Nightmares parts up to this point, but uh, we haven't finished the last part yet. That was a hell of a graze. Alright, good stuff. Oh wow, there's still stuff out there. Chekhov's canoe, don't get spotted up on that roof, pal. Good, good, good. Ready to rock. So why don't you go here so that you can get another steady weapon going. Meanwhile, we're just going to slowly move our way up. Nice, nice and easy like. Earthman Dave, you reload. And then I think you're going to steady... And everyone else is just going to quick end. Unfortunately, there's nobody who can scout. So we're just going to have to push forward the old-fashioned way. But hopefully things should turn out okay anyway. Yep, that was a bad, bad choice on your part, but that's fine. Uh, Pango and Lass, you can keep it moving. And quick end. Yeah, if you go to my videos, it should just pop up all of my VODs for anything I've played in the last couple of weeks. I think Twitch automatically deletes them after a couple of weeks unless I'm partnered. Um, I can't be partnered until I have an average of 75 viewers. <laughs> Halfway there, though. That was a lot of shot hit shots. So this is an advanced mech. So this is a very spooky boy. Uh, luckily we have somebody who can take care of it. This is the regular mech, but you know. 
That still needed to get taken care of. Tendies. Oof. It's the free hip. It's the free, uh... The free armor that really... Really does it. Alright, 59. Go for it, buddy. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, now, Pangolin Lass, where are you? Way behind. Way, way behind. So you aren't going to be able to... Aren't going to be able to flank... Uh, put this guy in suppression, eh? Oh, you can from here. Good. Although, he's also put himself in flank, so Earthman Dave... What can you do? Hey! Another successful operation. Okay. So we're going to set up for the next mission. And then I think we're going to call it a night. Because we've been streaming for quite a while now. But. Here's to another successful stream folks. We're going to. I'll do my little outro. Once we get to the equip screen for the next mission. Uh, I'm going to try and get everything here uploaded on the archives. Because uh, I know a lot of people, time zones don't work out, or, you know, various reasons. Things don't work out for people. I have an archive channel, which you can check out. Uh, Lacking Saint Live, you just look it up, you can find it. If you subscribe to it, all the archives get loaded up there. That's permanent, because Twitch will have archives, but they get automatically deleted after, like, uh, a couple of weeks, so, you know. Uh, other than that... Uh, I'm just going to be working on my video pretty much after I'm done with this. I might do some filming so that hopefully there can be a new video for you to enjoy Wednesday, I think. I think I'm going to say Wednesday. And we're not going to get the glitch now. We did not get the glitch. Very good. Very, very good. It's uh, about Breaking Bad. Specifically the, the reception of the character of Skylar White in Breaking Bad. Uh, Fortify, I think, is going to be your go-to, buddy. Chekhov's Gnu, you're going to do... Low profile, even though it's not really that useful. Uh, Pangolin Lass, I'm going to give you probably Shredder, but I'm going to think about that. Because Halo Bullets is very, very handy. Okay. Now let's get this next mission booted up. Uh, real quick, I'm just going to check my gunners. Uh, we have... Jesus, we still only have two gunners. Oh, we have Leet Speaker. And then we have two gunners. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we have Leet Speaker and then two other gunners. So you have Hail of Bullets. Uh, Pangolin Land. Oh, and RM Rico doesn't even get to decide yet. Um, so, okay, so I think you're going to go with Hail of Bullets too. And. That'd be cool. Because then we can give our Enrico our Shredder. And that will be cool. Now. This other mission we need to get set up for. Six days, very light. That should be fine. That should be fine. Yeah, I talked about it briefly at the start of the stream. But, yeah. Should be a fun video. I've really enjoyed writing it. Although, I've had some motivation problems. But... That's natural. Now we are going to bring some more Psy operatives with us. Uh, we're going to bring Bourgeoisie. I think. The Bourgeoisie get to come with us today. Sadly. Uh, other than that, we're going to have Lucker leading the squad. Rescue VIP from an advent vehicle. Well, we're definitely going to need a specialist then. 
Peace Fantastic, welcome. And we're going to want a Grenadier. And I think a Mech. Earthman Dave, welcome back. Can I get any more troops on for this one? Just a different Grenadier. I could get two Psy troops on. Maybe. Yeah, go for it. We have a, a bunch of equipment now because they just finished their mission. So we shouldn't even need to necessarily buy too much stuff. Uh, another reinforced frame, please. I'm also going to want... Oh, Ionic Axe. I'll go ahead and make that. Thank you very much. Uh, also going to make a second gremlin. So that you can get the gremlin mark too. And... You can... Yeah, you got the Ionic Axe already equipped. Uh, we don't really have many, like, just damage dealers here. So that is one thing to be careful of. We have a lot of people who can do, like, little bits of chip damage, but no, like, big damage dealers, like sharpshooters or anything. But hopefully that isn't too big a deal. We have a lot of people that can do little bits of damage, basically. And hopefully that's enough. And Predator Armor on everyone. Go here. And a here. And you're going to have... With one assault rifle and one scatter gun. Who has the best mobility here? Bourgeoisie, is that you? Yes, it is. How about you be so fantastic? You do too. Nine, nine. Add that. Who's getting that scout ray? 60. You have low aim. On top of everything else. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. But I'm also going to build one more nanoscale vest. Or oh, alloy plating. That's the one. Wait a second. Maybe I can just get everyone one of those. Ilo plating for you. We're going to get... Ilo plating. Probably not for you. For you, sure. Uh, for you, also sure. Uh, Grenadier, you're going to just get the laser rifle. And, oh, my mistake. <laughs> I double clicked the thing. Right. Uh, Lucker, Nagand. Uh, I may have gotten a bit greedy on bringing two side troops along for this one. Maybe I could just bring Kojo as my designated assault. In case we get stuck in an overwatch or something. We've got that. And then who's our last person we bring in? Oh, be spectastic. Yeah. That seems a bit more even. And then I have someone to actually give that scatter ray to. Uh, so be spectastic. Please take that scatter ray off. It's an embarrassment to XCOM. Wait, hang on. Sorry, folks. I know this is a little bit dull. But you got to eat your veggies if you want to get your beans. Scatter ray for you. Laser rifle for you. And... Maybe one more laser rifle. Laser rifle for you. 
Yep, that does it. We're going to do advanced laser sight on you. Uh, what else we got? Stock, laser sight, autoloader, scope. I guess a scope would be good for you. Scope and uh, an autoloader. And you can have laser sight, why not? Other than that, I don't really think we need anything. Uh, stock? Nah, you're good. You're good. Yeah. Beans or veggies as well? I uh, don't think so. Alright, got a med kit on Sage. Med kit on Shinobi, on a Laka. Who's going to take the smoke? I believe it can be... Uh, our specialist, I think, will get the smoke. Yeah. Good, good, good. And that will uh, do it. Let our mission... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Phew. Nine, nine, seven, eleven... Have not other playing. And I think that will do it. I'm nervous I'm gonna give luck of the alloy plating too. In fact, what do you have? Do you have a personal combat? No. Get that dodge. Thank you. And now we're ready to wait. Now we're good. We're good. Sage, you got anything? No. Why don't you get Iron Skin? You're like the one person that would be useful for. Reinforced frame. Let's go. Uh, good timing, Ratatex. We're actually heading off now. We're gonna also finish a stream for the day. But thank you so much once again to all of you who have joined us. Uh, it's always a pleasure. We're going to figure out who we're going to raid tonight after I save the game. Uh, Musebank, Revan Crowford, Ratitex, Albus, Musebank, Retro Game Queen. All you folks. Uh, it's always a pleasure. For all of you who have subscribed today, I really appreciate that. Helps us keep the stream going. Uh, because obviously the time it takes out of my schedule... All time has to be monetarily valued, you see, uh, under capitalism. Nothing can just be for fun. So, yeah. 